It's time for me to put my big boy drawers on. This is my safe haven, y'all. This is my comfort zone. I have social anxiety, so being around with a lot of people terrifies me. Being around with a lot of people raises my anxiety. I'm not able to function normally around a lot of people in, in large crowds like you normal healthy people are. I want to cry right now, but I can't. The tears just won't fall from my eyes. I feel numb. It hurts that I have to live with anxiety. Anxiety is so debilitating and when it's really, really bad the way mine is, it can completely cripple a person. It can completely handicap you. So many things that I would have been able to achieve in life that I haven't been able to because of my anxiety. My anxiety has stopped me from achieving a lot and doing a lot of things that I would have done and it's prevented me from accomplishing and achieving certain goals that I created and had for myself and that hurts. There's a guy I met in a OCD and anxiety Facebook group back in the summer of 2019. He has social anxiety, he has generalized anxiety, bipolar, and OCD. I just have generalized anxiety and OCD, but we both said that we wanted to start traveling. He hasn't been out of Philly since he was very young. I think he's two years older than me, and prior to 2020, I had not been outside of Philadelphia since I was very young. But the difference between he and I is that I have heart. And I'm a fucking fighter. I don't run away from challenges. When my back is against the wall, that's when I'm at my best. I decided that I didn't want to live the rest of my life creating more regrets for myself. I'm 34, I don't wanna be 40 looking back over my 30s wishing that I had have done things that I didn't do. I have a lot of regrets. I look back over my 20s and I just feel like those years were wasted. It's so much that I could have done that I didn't do because I allowed anxiety and fear to cripple me and hold me back. This anxiety has limited me. So many goals and, uh, you know, things that I set for myself, I wasn't able to accomplish or achieve because I wilted under the pressure. I let fear of failure and anxiety hold me back. And now I have to live the rest of my life wondering what would have been if I would have done this and that. Where could I have been by now if I would have just did it? If I didn't let the anxiety hold me back. If I didn't let the fear conquer me and overwhelm me. How far would I have been by now? I remember that summer, my friend and I was talking about all the places that we wanted to visit and go to. And I tried to uh, encourage him to get his passport. We both was working on getting our passports. And um, he actually ended up getting his passport a little uh, after I did, but we both got our passports before the year of 2019 was out and came to an end. And since then, I went to New Orleans in February of 2020. I went to Niagara Falls. I went to Puerto Rico, Boston, Miami, and Vegas all within one month. I went to Mexico by myself. I went to New York. I went to L.A., 
And now I'm about to go to Italy. God's willing, everything go fine and I get back safely. I'll be going to Jamaica for Tina's birthday in September. And I'll also be going to Spain in October and God's willing, um, Bahamas in December. So I've taken nine um, trips so far, if you want to call them trips. I've been on, I've been to nine places so far. He hasn't been to any yet, but that's because he allowed the anxiety to cripple him, and he just isn't the fighter that I am. I'm scared as shit, y'all. This is the furthest I've ever traveled. I'm traveling halfway across the world to Italy. And the vast majority of the people there are white. <laughs> but I couldn't live with myself if I backed out. I won't be able to live with myself if I cancel the trip, and I still can cancel it because I have travel insurance, but I just can't do that. I have to just go. I want to encourage you folks out there, if there's anything that you want to do in life, I don't care what your dreams or aspirations are, just do it. Because you'll never know what you're capable of. You'll never know how far you can go and you'll never know how much you can achieve until you just do it we have to stop being afraid of failure you can't fail when you try i said this in the video i did a few months ago about facing your fears you cannot fail when you try all you can do is give it your best shot and that's what i'm gonna do Regret is a horrible thing and it do not feel good. And I refuse to live the rest of my life with regrets. I refuse to keep creating regrets for myself. I'm just going to face whatever demons and challenges I have to head on. Bring that shit on. I don't care what life throw at me. I'm ready for it. Bring that motherfucking shit on. Because I'm built like that. Y'all don't know. The pain. That I live with every day. Mental illness is one of the worst challenges that a human being can face. You feel like you're mentally in prison. You're in prison in your mind. I'll tell you, man, I'd rather have AIDS, cancer, diabetes, lupus. The physical pain do not compare to mental agony. Y'all healthy motherfuckers are so lucky because things that y'all feel are just so simple and easy to do are so difficult and challenging for people like me. Just standing in line at a grocery store is so challenging for me. My mind is not right. I'm not mentally normal the way you guys are. So you guys probably can't even imagine how standing in a line at a grocery store is difficult for someone. You don't understand that fear. The fear of just losing your mind in public. Sometimes I be in public and I just go blank where I don't even know where I'm at. And I just lose sense of direction and lose sense of, you know, where I, where I am and where I'm going and who I am. But I feel like 
when a person suffers with something that's challenging and difficult as OCD and I talked to a brother that's living in India and he has some of the crazy torturing or torturous rather uh, thoughts that I have intrusive thoughts are brutal man because they're always negative they're always scary they cause mental and physical discomfort weird body sensations sometimes I can't sleep Sometimes I have nightmares that feel so real. Sometimes I have to drink a whole fucking, not a whole bottle, but a half a bottle of vodka just to go to sleep. I have to pop several pills every day just to go to sleep because so many daunting, horrifying thoughts going through my brain. Sometimes I have thoughts about bad things that I did in the past. Just all these horrifying thoughts that stuck in my mind that I can't get rid of and it drives me crazy. Sometimes I feel like I just want to jump off a bridge and end it. But I don't. I just continue to fight. And this demon, this OCD, this anxiety has built me into a motherfucker that's as strong as a goddamn rock. I don't feel like nothing can break me. When you face all the mental challenges that I have to face on a daily basis. And no matter what the devil throw at you. He's throwing some of the most difficult and most challenging obstacles that a human can face. Some of the most painful and insufferable challenges and tribulations that a human can go through and face. And you overcome it. You mentally become strong as the man of steel. You learn all about mental gymnastics. And how to mentally get your way through the most challenging situations and situations that would appear to be impossible to overcome but you find a way mental illness can create a very strong unbreakable human being I'm going to do this you got to psych yourself out You have to learn how to embrace discomfort, embrace pain, change your perspective on how you look at pain. Let it be a learning lesson. Don't let it defeat you. Don't let it break you. You got to learn how in this life to be comfortable being uncomfortable. To be happy when everything around you is gloomy and dark. To keep a smile on your face when it ain't nothing to smile for. Laugh when you have no reason to laugh. Find joy in, in something when there's nothing to be joyous about. Be at peace in the midst of the storm. Create your own reality. Make a haunted house a peaceful home. Accept the things you can't change. And do the best with the hand of cards you were dealt.
stop placing so many high expectations on yourself and just do the best you can do. So at least you can sleep well knowing that you gave it all that you had. That's what make a champion. That's what heart is. That's what a warrior is. Some people break under pressure because they never had to face anything in life. They don't know what it's like to be at the bottom of the pit. At rock bottom. Know what it feels like to live life and not feel. Sometimes I don't feel anything. I just feel so empty. So dark. But I'm gonna keep fighting. Because I realize that I only get one life. And happiness and peace is worth fighting for. I don't know how much time on this earth I got left. But I'm going to continue to fight until they put me in the, in the ground. Ain't no quitting, Jay. I ain't no bitch nigga. I'm from Philly. I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a tough son of a bitch. You hear me? I ain't no pussy. I've come way too far to quit now. My anxiety been so high lately, guys. I would probably have to say Maybe not the highest has ever been, but the highest has been since early 2020. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind, y'all. The devil think he gonna win. You're not. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, nigga. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Challenge your fucking accepted. I'm a dog. Too strong to be broken, man. This shit can't take me out, man. I'm Jarnell. You know this double? I'm motherfucking Jarnell. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give up now? I was raped in juvie. I was physically and mentally abused. I was homeless on the street at 14 years old, eating out motherfucking dumpsters. Sleeping near lakes in the middle of the winter in Philly. Battle with a drug addiction. How much harder can it get? What you gonna do next? Take a leg from me? Can somebody throw an ass on my face and fuck my face up? What? I'm just trying to figure out. What's next? What's the next challenge?
sure I have videos and pictures for you guys once I get back from Italy. Just wanted to do this video before I leave tomorrow. Pray that um, I have a safe. Uh, I'm sorry. Pray, pray that I get there and back safely. That's what I meant to say. And that I have a safe journey there. Don't give up, y'all. Whenever you feel like quitting, think about Jardel. Because my quality of life is at the bottom of a barrel or two from zero to ten. I easily have one of the worst lives that a person can have. This shit damn near compromised my fucking faculties. I love y'all. Be encouraged. Face your fears. Because when you do, you learn so much about yourself. And when you overcome challenging situations, it makes you stronger. It builds you up. And it makes you strong enough to create I mean to overcome challenges in the future you become battle tested you become battle tested through experience and that's why I'm able to deal with very challenging obstacles and you know I'm able to overcome so much that's thrown at me because I had to learn how to at a very young age. I had to learn how to be mentally tough at a very young age. Because of all the trauma that I faced. I had to be grown at 14. So, be encouraged. Just do it. Just do it. Don't even think about it. It's not like we put too much thought into things. Just do it. Just do it. And just see what the outcome is going to be. Whatever it is you want to do, but you're afraid to do because you're afraid of failing, just do it. Don't think. Don't think. Don't think. Thinking going to hold you back. That's your worst enemy. Just do it. Just do it. And you will see it's never as bad as you think it's, it's, it was going to be. It's never as difficult or challenging as it seems. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Because you will feel better doing it and failing than you would if you don't even try. Jayla 47.